Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to the Sunless Sea. So, we're back again, and we're going to be trying to go a little bit further this time before we head back home. Specifically, we're going to be heading here from Port Cecil down towards Khan's Shadow to pick up some more supplies, then to the Fathom King's Hold to drop off some of the rewards we've gathered and see what he gives us in return. We're going to head back up to Khan's Heart to pick up the romantic literature, and we'll drop that off at Abbey Rock on the way past, and hopefully that'll still let us keep everything that we've had and not have to drop off all our cool rewards on the way. But we'll see what happens as we travel around, and if we need to change our minds, then we will, but hopefully we won't lose anything too valuable. Generally, though, we're just going to sail onwards and hopefully not die. That sounds like a good thing to me. I think I actually just went to Port Cecil and didn't do anything there at all, even though I could have. But uh, I'm kind of okay with that, too. Right now, we're just going to sail casually down, down, and down. There's Visage, as usual. But we're not too worried about it here. What I am worried about is my personal health. We're kind of in a bad shape right now. We could try to catch whatever this horror below the, way the sea is, but we're going to tell them to not look. There we go. We lose one terror as a result, and we just move on happily. Because as much as I would love to acquire more goods here, anything that can wound us will instantly kill us. And I'm kind of not okay with that. Uh, hello. Are you gonna fight me? I don't know if you are. I'm gonna turn off the light for a minute, though, and see if we can't get around you. If you do decide to fight me, you're going to regret it, because I'm going to murder you in short order. We shall see. Oh, you do want to fight. All right. Is that how we're doing this? Is that how we're doing this, chum? Don't start what you can't finish. Because I can. And I will. Unfortunately, killing Connet boats raises suspicion with the Connet, so hopefully he'll decide to run away instead. That would be convenient for us. You missed. You missed again. That time you hit us. Ow. Alright, that's fine. We blew you up, you hit us once. That's only fair. We're gonna go and salvage you, even though it's gonna hurt us, and then we'll see what else we find, because this might be some good supplies for us here. We can seize and loot her. Take what we can, imprison and cut down any Kaganians that remain. We've gained a menace, but we got a cache of curiosities, and within... We find a cask of mushroom wine. Yeah. That's what we're here for, so that's handy. Oh, I'm gonna need more of that, though, aren't I? Yes, I am. I'm going to need five more to accomplish all my goals here. So let's talk to the Khan's Shadow and see what they have for us. And while we're here, we can use that cask of wine. We'll stop in the Khan's Shadow. We'll compile a port report. There we go. And while we're here, we have an officer we want to speak to. Let's celebrate with the campaigner. The campaigner has changed. The irises, eye, the irises of her eyes, which were brown, are now charred black. The flesh is shrunken on her bones. She's aged ten years, but her back is straight and her voice is clear. Why? she says incisively. We and the campaigner toast her rebirth. Not a rebirth, she corrects us. Perhaps a pre-death. Hush, don't look at me like that. I'm a realist. Have another glass of wine. She survived. She has found a cure. If anyone could, she points out, it would be me, after all. You're lucky it was me who fell ill. Her wisdom has been tested, tempered, but not found wanting. <laughs> well, quite. But you were an invaluable assistant. A fine vintage, this. Another glass. You and she are safe. And you all shall be well. And all manner of things shall be well. Your very fine health. We've lost the brisk campaigner, but we now have an indomitable campaigner. Ooh. Very nice. What does that change about her? Five iron and nine hearts. Interesting. Compared to our surgeon, who's nine hearts, three pages. So she's just 
more valuable overall now than the Determined Doctor. Alright. Indomitable Campaigner. Your costs were great, but it turns out you're pretty valuable. We have the Vigilant Idol here. We can't speak to it. It'll give us four mirrors instead of five hearts if we want more. Our mirrors are okay, though, for now, I think. The extra iron from the Indomitable Campaigner should be nice, though, even though we do lose some pages as a result. But I think pages are still our best statistics, so I don't care too much about that. All right. Well, that worked out for us. That worked out quite nicely. I'm the Traveler's Friend. Can I buy more wine? No. I could buy the Mile Breaker. A heart-damaging uh, device that increases our fuel efficiency, but I think I'll pass on that. How much space do I have right now? I've got seven inventory space. Hmm. I need to buy five wine. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to manage this. How far do we have to go? Not super far. It's just down to the Fathom King's Hold down there, which is fairly reasonably close. <sighs> Alright, well, let's go to the Traveler's Friend and buy some fuel. And we'll go from here and see what we can do. Maybe the Khan's Heart, we can buy some wine. This fuel and food will be burned up quickly, then we can head down there. And as long as we can get some more in the Fathom King's Hold, or make it back to Khan's Shadow without dying, then we'll be okay. But this seems like such a bad idea. Such a bad idea. I don't know. We're, we're pushing the limits here of what's possible in one, in one attempt. Let's make our way into the Nephrite Quarter and see what we can get here. We're down another cask of food. We're going to be down another fuel in a moment. Alright, we stop here in the Khan's Heart. We'll gain access to the Nephrite Quarter. There we go. Check out the shops. Can I buy wine here? No. I can only sell wine here. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I was hoping I'd be able to buy some here. Well, I still need to buy three romantic literature. We might actually just abandon the stop at the Fathom King's Hold for now, because none of our inventory is based on being there, and we don't have the wine. So we might as well go back and we can get both things in one mission. Ah, we still have an Invictus token. We're in unforgiving mode with no save slots beside the basic autosave. Indeed. But... Yeah, I think... I think it makes more sense for us here to f get our three romantic literatures. So we can do that. Grab some fuel. And supplies. And just try to survive. Because as much as I'd love to make the extra... Uh, journey over to the Fathom King's Hold, it doesn't make any sense to do it when doing so is probably just going to kill us. So now we can make the journey out instead, where we're more likely to be able to survive all the way back home, and once we're there, we'll be able to uh, do what we need to do to come back. There's still some mysteries to explore below the waves, lots of interesting things to do in those hidden cities that we've been passing over recently, but... For the time now being, I think it makes more sense to do things this way. So we're just going to try and get out of here if we can. We'll come back to the Fathom King's Hold in the future when we can actually survive the venture. We should be able to get home on the amount of fuel and resources that we have, as long as we don't have to get busy fighting too many things on the way, of course. He says as a bound shark immediately corners us. He's facing the wrong way, so I'm not too worried. Okay, that's some shenanigans. Now he's facing the wrong way again, though. Let's just leave. He's going to have a hard time catching up to us, so let's just move on out. Our terror is getting a little bit worryingly high, but we should be able to manage. Is that still the Bound Shark that's trying to kill us? Yes, it is. Alright. That's fine. We're making plenty of headway here. The 
try and mitigate our terror growth as much as we can as we try and make it back to safety. I think we should be okay, but we are going to have a lot of resources to dump once we get there. Alright, Station 3. We'll stop in here. Visit the Smith's Emporium. Inside the little gate, there's not much we can do. Visit the Smith's Emporium. We can ask the Smith how we got here. Heart metal suit. Let's see what happens if we ask how we got here. Metaphor or very strange tooth? Swam, he says. He stares us in the eye. It's so impossible, it's laughable, but he doesn't seem to be joking. He picks up his hammer, and the interview's over for now. We learned more about a heart metal smith. That's something. For now, we head back out again. I really hope that whatever we do here doesn't kill us, because... Being on one wound is really scary. Makes me so much less willing to experiment, though, and I want to be able to try and do cool things. And I know we need sunlight, which is probably going to wound us. It did every time we tried last time. And we also need um, to do more dreams, which is also going to wound us from the sounds of it. So I need to be back up at full health just to be able to go back down to one health, just to be able to do more of the things that we came here to do. Lots of mysteries to explore, and only so much health to do it with. Alright. We're almost back at Abbey Rock, though, so hopefully whatever happens here won't be the end of us, and we'll be able to discover something interesting with the uh, Presbyterian Adventuress's final hours. She wants to die well, and if anything, we're going to give her the opportunity to do that. Do we have somebody to replace her? I hope we do. The Presbyterian Adventurous is a very nice officer, but I think we have the... Yeah, we have the Irrepressible Cannoneer instead. Alright, Abbey Rock. Oh, it was five, not three. Man, I'm just ruining everything here. Unfortunately, I now have Romantic Literature, which I can't actually hold on to, because if I do, they'll seize it when I come back in home. Hmm. Alright, well, let's get this. We have no recent news, so we can't do anything with that. We can offer a gift here to reduce our terror. I'm going to hold on to our hunting trophies for now. Oh, well, that was unfortunate. I've ruined another thing. Well, we're going to go straight home. Even though we've missed another objective here, because we can't really afford to do anything else. Hopefully, Fallen London doesn't ask us for our romantic literature, because if they do, we're going to get in trouble unless we just give it up. I wouldn't mind just giving it up, but I just spent a bunch of resources on getting it, so I'd kind of like to keep it if we can. Ah, well. So it goes. Evidently, my planning was incorrect. At least now we know it's five. At least now we know it's five. We're gonna grab some wine when we get back into London, and then we we'll should hopefully be able to go back and make up for some of these errors of ours. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get the romantic literature anywhere else, so we're going to have to go all the way back to the con's heart to get that, but it just means we'll have to drop it off on the way back. It's going to be a hundred echoes for the total for that mission, unfortunately, or about thereabouts. More if we have to return these ones. And we're fine! We get away without any nasty problems here. Very nice. It's because nothing awaits us, I think. Alright, well, we made it back home, and we survived. That's a pretty significant issue. Venturer needs to pick up a ton of support uh, supplies, so we don't need anything with him. We do want to potentially get rid of our Sintelac. There's a lot of them here, and we just don't have room for that many. We can get rid of our Solace Fruit as well. I'm going to hold on to that, because I think these are often uh, quite useful and hard to get. We'll need to buy some more wine. We'll need to buy some more coffee. I'll look and buy coffee on the way. What a mess. Our hold right now has some space in it, but it's going to have a whole lot more once I get rid of some of this intellect. I don't think we have a better way to sell it. Really? I think there might be some way, but I can't think of it right now. There's nobody who wants it in the Roser's Wharf. They want long boxes and watchful curios. And we don't have a free day, so we can't get new ones. Hmm. I would really like to get some better stuff here, though. Let me get some different stuff. Alright, we're going to sell most of our Sintelec. We're going to sell 14 of them. And we're going to hold on to 5 for future. I hope I don't regret doing that, but we need some space, so we're going to have to. We're going to pick up 5 casks of mushroom wine. Not the cheapest value we can get here, but it's something. 
we can actually get it, which is more important. And then we're gonna go get some free fuel and things by talking to our companion, the Dark Spectacled Admiral. Let's submit our port reports. Mount Palmerston, that gets us 40 echoes. Abbey Rock gets us 20. Polythreem gets us another 50. Empire of Hands is another 50 as well. Grand Geode gets us 10. Not so much in the Echoes front here. The Khan's Shadow. Yep, yeah, that gets us 5 less Terror, which is nice. A Fuel and 30 Echoes. Wisdom gets us 30 Echoes and another Fuel. We've got plenty of space still, I think. Irem, there's another Fuel and 20 Echoes. King Eater's Castles, 20 Fuel. Quaker's Haven. Only 5 Echoes, but hey, still good. Nook. Let's see what he says about this. We've been to the Great Maw, have we? No clothes at all. Wild orgies. Fights to the death and the... The altogether. The secretary grows crimson as he stares at your report. Tell me everything. Slowly. Got 50 echoes, gained a favor, gained a fuel. And we've now accomplished the Nook survey. Let's talk about Low Barnet. That gets us... Another fuel and 15 echoes, and rack. 55 echoes for that one, and we got an admiral's favor, and we got uh, an extra fuel out of that one as well. Very nice. Doesn't have much to say about it, but that's fine. Almost filled us up on fuel too, which is nice. We need some space for uh, food, so that's fine by me. Alright, not a bad little recovery here. We'll head back to the naval surplus. Provisioners? Provisioners and buy ourselves a bit more food so we can actually survive the journey we're going on. Right now in our hold, the romantic literature is taking up space, which is annoying, but we're going to need it, which will save us some problems in the future, which is good. We need to try and reduce some of our panic, though. So if we go to London, can we hire on more crew? We have a new recruit, so we can get them here. We can engage a Zaylor for five Echoes. That's a free boost back up, which is nice. And in London, is there some way for us to reduce our Terror. Right now, there doesn't seem to be. Brass Embassy, no. Mm -mm -mm. What do we have here? Is there any other way we can easily recover? Our lodgings, we can read the morning papers. That'll get us the news that we didn't get last time. That'll help. In our private study, I don't think there's anything else we can do. We could try and purchase a Z-Side mansion with 10,000 Echoes, but I don't think that's going to work for us right now. We visit our study. Is there anything we can do here to reduce our terror? No. We can adorn our lodgings with captivating treasures. That'll get us some more loot here. Get us some money for the future. It's probably a good idea. Well, let's turn at least one into an heirloom. It'll help our next generation. We now have one heirloom. There you go. We lost one captivating treasure and gained... lost ten echoes as well. So it goes. Well, well, well. Alright, that's not going to help us reduce our terror. I don't think we're going to have any way to really do it here. I'd love some way to rest. Is this going to do it? Yes, it will. Perfect. This is what we need. Reduce your terror, heal two wounds, give you two restful nights. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's what we came here for. Now we actually ha ha can heal and can go back and get some more sunlight and get some more dreams. Good. Only lost us 15 terror, and it cost us 100 echoes to do, but the two wound healing is a pretty big deal. Okay, now I feel safe enough to head back out to the Z again. Might get some repairs before we go, though. Probably a good idea. London, dry dock, and... Hmm. Don't really want to waste all our money on this. We don't really need it. We still have a good amount of hull left. Let's just say it's good enough for now. It'll do. Alright. Not a bad little stop here. We got a bunch of stuff we needed, and we're good to move back on our merry way. Thankfully, the game didn't decide to give us a hard time, so we should be in pretty good shape here. Turn off the lights for now. So what is our mission this time? This time we're going to head back out again. We're going to try and go all the way back up to Ihiram. All the way back. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know. <laughs> the main thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to try and scoot across to Aestival and get the sunlight, head down to the Fathom King's Hold, and then we're going to try and get the extra books and come back here. So this should be a nice shorter mission, but we'll see how it goes once we actually get out there. The big thing is we actually have the inventory space now, though. We're heading out in a similar voyage, but this time we should actually be able to finish more of the things we set out to do. And that's a pretty big deal. I may actually stop in at the Fathom King's Hold early, too, because we have everything except for the sunlight. So we could drop down to here first, and then head up, and then come back. It'll cost us an extra sea story, but it would let us get rid of the wine earlier, and then come back when we have the sunlight. I don't know if it's really worth stopping there twice, but we already have wasted inventory space because we have the three love stories with us, the three romantic literatures. It's hard to say. If we had been able to plan this out better the first time and hadn't uh, gotten the wrong number of supplies, we might have been in a better spot here, but so it goes. What we are going to do, though, is we're going to come underwater here. We're going to come down to Pigmoat Isle under the sea and see what happens. I think that might be better for us. So either way, we're going to continue sailing away and see what we can do. We did just gain a fairly hefty amount of uh, echoes, which should be a nice boon for us, but... Now we're coming back to finish the jobs we came here to do. Brief stop in at Abbey Rock, and back out we go. We're going to stop in briefly at Station 13, where we'll hopefully have another Something Awaits Us, which means we'll be able to then learn something more about the Heart Metal Smith, which sounds like an interesting thing to do. And then from there, we'll be able to go underwater and discover new shores. For now, though, we'll just make our way to Station 3. It's going to be another expensive journey, but hopefully the things we get make up for it. Something awaits us? Maybe? Alright. We'll dock... Oh, I actually can't make a port report here. Right. Okay, fair enough. Let's leave then. I thought we could, but apparently not. And... Oh, not full power. Down we go. So we're gonna make the underwater journey between Station 3 and Pigmo Dial. Should be some interesting things down here. Hopefully, anyway. We are low on food. Thankfully, the Pigmoat Isle Banquet should be nice for replenishing those supplies. Picking up the wine early to go with the books just means we have less inventory space again, though. And that was the problem we had last time with making this journey, so who knows? Who knows how well this will or will not go. Well, let's go see what this is and discover if it's a horrible beastie trying to murder us. It is not. It's food. Perfect. We'll catch some fish. And that should sustain us a little bit more. And here we are at Pigmoat Isle, so we'll swing around and see what this one is. Oh, good, it's a wreck ship. Alright, let's do battle quickly here. Thankfully, by forcing him back, we should have been able to get out of his effective range. So we can fight him, but he'll have a hard time shooting us. The stuns are quite nice on the Memento Mori. One more should do it, I think. Oh, I missed with that last one. He went underwater, I think. Nope, he just died. Alright, that's fine. So we're gonna scupper him, and then we're gonna head back up to the surface, I think. Destroy them utterly. We gained 50 fragments in one hull, and we lost three terror. Not a bad exchange, if you ask me. We should be able to get some repairs here from our friends on Pigmoat Isle. But we'll see what happens and how expensive it is when we actually get there. 
I still love the island of crab cake. All right. We got a jellyfish. We're going to ignore it if we can. Hopefully it won't come and try and fight us because honestly, I don't really want to fight it. The reward for killing it's not great and the time taken is probably not worth it at this point. We're just going to drop in on Pigmodile. All right, we dock at Pigmodile where we'll be able to potentially request repairs for 125 echoes. It's not great. Uh, we'll compile our port report, so it goes, and we will take a banquet in our honor. We've lost 20 hunger, which is nice. Gained two supplies and lost five terror. That lovely meal fit for emperors. I don't really think it's worth spending the 125 echoes, which is more than it costs back at home. We have no shops here, though, so we can't get anything else, so we'll just head off on our merry way again. We might stop in the Fathom King's Hold. We're basically here anyway. I think we will. It makes more sense than to not... It makes more sense than to not. Let's drop down below the waves, though, and see what we can find underwater. That should be exciting. We're going to need to come back to the Fathom King's Hold anyway, since we don't have all the items, so we might as well just get some of them now. And come back later when we have more. For now, it's a fairly straight shot down to the Fathom King's Hold, as long as nothing horrible gets in our way. And we should be able to manage. We're already almost there. Ooh, a wreck. Let's see what this wreck has in store. We can search a London wreck. The stately shattered vessel is of familiar manufacture. Our lights illuminate a tattered Admiralty flag shivering forlornly in the current. Well, let's give it a try. I have a 71% chance of success. We failed. Hmm. The wreck groans as we pull ourselves through its passages. At the foot of the running stair is the captain's cabin. Her greatcoat is still in her chair, an olive green water damaged journal poking from the left pocket. Back on the submarine, we read what little remains legible. A defection was intended to the new sequence. I want only to remember the sun, she wrote. The sun, the sun, the sun. An ambition thwarted by the Z. Well, we failed, but we still got three unread logs, which is better than nothing, I suppose. For now, we're going to pop up and go visit the Fathom King. And drop off some rewards. See what he'll give us. And also have a fantastic feast, hopefully. A nice way to end off our episode. Let's see what happens here. Welcome back to the Fathom King's Hold. So we arrive in the Fathom King's Hold, and... We probably will do this. Trade for a white molly flower. I saved at least one Sintelac for it. We'll compile a port report first. Trade for a white molly flower. I don't know what this does. Oh, but that'll take our stories away to us. No. No. All right, we're going to do it anyway. I want this thing. All right, we have one white molly flower. Seems like it's a fish. We can eat it if we ever need to break an illusion of Dahut, but be cautious. Place it in water if it needs reviving. Crushes and bite it when the need arises. It is proof against seeing things that aren't there, which is the only trick they know in doubt. A sniff and a jealous song go with this observation. Oh, we can still do this. Oh, that's nice. Alright, let's descend to an audience of the Fathom King, then. We've lost a Z-story, that's fine. Let's discuss the matter of our father's bones. We can try and get the outcast back. For seven Sintelax, seven captivating treasures, and a searing enigma, and a colossal flute core. Wow. Wow. Alright, let's pass on that. Let's attend the Poissonnier's Feast, though. That's the first thing we're here to do. The Drowny Court. Actually, I, I don't know if they're going to kick us out. Let's try and discuss the matter of our father's bones first. I think we can do this and not get kicked out, because you can drop off more than one thing. So we're not giving him the Memento Mori. That's not going to happen. But we are going to tell him what the bare witness of the Principal's end, and we'll give him the Serpentine, too. How old was the Principal's? The eldest? Perhaps old enough to satisfy the Fathom King. Let's give him this. See what happens. An ending. Hurry, it told me. My thoughts grow burdensome. And then, at the chess game's end, the dissolution. 
The Fathom King listens. A single tear rolls down his cheek, though his face remains expressionless. His chamberlain lips steps forward to remove the tear with a darting tongue. My bride's family, he tells us. They have long grown eccentric, and the principal's was the most eccentric of all. Yes, that is sufficient. Come closer, and I will tell you something of other dissolutions. He gave us a veils and a secret. Interesting. Let's give him the serpentine and see what he says about that. <coughs> Excuse me. Your complexity. Here is a miracle of science and the subtler arts. Glass and fire, steel and serpents, power and prisoned dreams. Fascinating. Is that a finger king in there? Alive? And it makes your ship go? I must say, that's splendidly done. You've fulfilled my request handsomely. At his gesture, a drowny child walks forward, bare feet slapping on rock, to present us with a knife of coral. <coughs> The Chamberlain, meanwhile, kindly arranges to replace our engine with a spare from a ship they had recently eaten. Well, we got a different engine. We got a... Bodesha? Bodica? I don't know how to pronounce that. We got an iron, a secret, and an outlandish artifact. Oh, very nice. Kind of them to actually give us an engine in case that was the one we were using. And let's speak of other matters. Now we can attend the Poissonnier's Feast! It, the drowny court, soggy, chattering, hungry, populate a table of carved coral. Bossonnier claps his hands. Our crew scurry in with steaming plates. There are seven courses, each named. It begins with the first touch on the skin. A plate of silky white flesh submerged in yellow sauce. Fresh, sharp, shocking. Next comes struggling against the current. A fierce terrine of coursing flavors. It leaves the diners watery-eyed and reaching for their wine. Before they recover, bowls of pelican soup are set before them. Swallowed, the Poissonnier intones. The taste is deep and rich and heavy, lining the stomach. Several drownies lift the bowls to their lips to catch the last drops. A merciful interlude follows. The surface, high above, is a mild palate-cleansing mousse. Afterwards comes lost breath, a roulade of still wriggling tentacles. Bitter on the tongue's tip, but departing with a long, mellow aftertaste as it slides down the throat. The penultimate course, the abandonment of the self, is spun with sugar and crunchy with salt. Spherical cages of solidified syrup containing fiery sweetmeats. The filigree cracks between drowny teeth. The sweetmeats vanish down damp gullets. Last of all, the promise of what is to follow. A brulee cream of inexplicable pungency indescribably moorish. The diners lean back, bloated. When their senses return, they call for the poissonnier and congratulate him upon impeccably reproducing the sensation of drowning in culinary form. It was not drowning, the Fathom King says, his baritone rolling over their babble. It was love. He raises his glass to the poissonnier. We no longer have a bandaged poissonnier. We now have a bandaged Chef Paramount. The bandaged Poissonnier created a feast for the Fathom King. And we're out. Hello there, Cook. Nine hearts, five pages. His mastery of fish flesh would make an emperor weep. Welcome aboard. And that's all he has to say. Well... We now have a master chef aboard. What do you know? And just like that, I think our adventure ends here for today. Thank you for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing a little bit of Sunless Sea for you. If you've enjoyed the episode, be sure to let me know in the comments below, and we'll continue our adventures next time. Until then, thanks for watching, and bye bye